we're gonna have a little bit of end of term fun. We're gonna play a wee old fashioned game of countdown. I used to love that as a kid coming home from school. My mum would get me a wee snack and a drink and I'd sit there and my pad and try and beat her. And it worked. 50 50, I would say. But that's why I loved letters, words, English. That's what got me into it. So I've got a little bit of, you know, a history with countdown. So the way it's going to work is we're going to play a couple of games with words. Then the dreaded numbers game. Then a conundrum. Then we're going to just repeat that three times. Okay? So I hope you've all got your pen and paper ready. It might be easier to write it down than work off the screen. So I hope that you can have a little bit of fun. What I'll do is I'm going to reveal the consonants first, then the vowels, then the timer will start. And then that'll give you a chance to write them down as we go. Okay? Ready? So, consonants. D for Delta. R for Romeo. H for Hotel. S for Sierra. N for November. T for Tango. And the vowels. I for India. E for Echo. O for Oscar. I feel like a policewoman this morning when I'm using my phonetic alphabet. Okay? So that's your nine letters. So you've got 30 seconds to get as the biggest word that you can out of all those letters. And you can only use the letters once, remember. Obviously, if there's two of them, you can use them twice if you don't remember. But if it's only one letter, use it once. Good luck. did you do? How many letters did you get? How many? What word? What's the biggest word you've got? How many letters? Right, well let's have a look at some of the options you can have. There are a couple of eight letter words in there. Horniest, so the animal with the biggest horn. And a hedonist, so somebody who just loves pleasure. Pleasure seeker. There's lots of seven letter words as you can see. And there's lots of six letter words. Obviously, if you've got lots of five letter words as well, I couldn't fit them all on the screen. So I've just stuck to the the words with the most letters. So obviously, if you're playing this at home, you could just pause it here or check, you know, the, the words online. But that's the sort of the main, the most popular six, seven, and eight letter words. Okay, so that was round one. So hopefully you're playing with someone. If you're not, you're just having a bit of fun on your own. That's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. I used to watch Countdown all the time when I was young and on. Okay, next round. Consonants are T for Charlie, S for Sierra, H for Hotel, M for Mike, and B for Bravo. And the vowels are A for Alpha, O for Oscar, E for Echo, and A for Alpha. All right. Hopefully you've written them all down. 30 seconds, start in. How did you do? What's your biggest word this time then? How many letters? Well done. Right, here's the possible answers. So there's a seven letter word in there, amoebas. Or obviously you could have amoeba for a single. 
there's different six letter words. This is these are trickier letters, I would say. So there's quite a few five letters. You might have got something different. If you have got something different, just double check it's a real word. I used to make words up all the time when I used to play count down or boggle, that sort of thing. Okay, so you might have one of those. So the next round is numbers. So the numbers, so remember, you can add the numbers, subtract the numbers, divide or multiply the numbers, but you can only use the number once. And then once you've used it, you can't use it again. So the numbers are 3, 5, 10, 8, 2, and 100. And you can use up as many, you don't have to use them all, but you can use those numbers to try and make the number 360. So how do you do it? Good luck! How did you do then? So going back to it, so you could have, now there's obviously alternative ways, so again you could just look them up. But what I would do is 100 times 3 is 300, 8 minus 2 is 6, times it by 10 is 60, and add it all. Is that what you did? If you did it an alternative way, just double check online or double check with someone else that you've not used the number more than once that's the numbers game all right so the next one is the conundrum so remember that's where you've got the nine letter word and you're trying to find that nine letter word so there's a little clue on the board so let's see if you can get it ready go So I don't know what's happened to my sound. Well, did you get it? Pineapple! Well done if you got that. Right, we're back to the letters game. So our consonants are L for Lima, B for Bravo, H for Hotel, S for Sierra, M for Mike, and F for Foxtrot. And our vowels are E for Echo, A for Alpha, and U for uniform. Let's see the biggest word you can make out of that. Good luck! How did you do? How many words did you get this time? What's your biggest one? Here's the options. There is an eight letter in there. Shameful. So you can have fumble, bashful, humble, shamble. There's seven letters. There's six letters. There's a lot of five letters. I've just popped up a, a wee drop of them. You might have a, a different one than that. So that's that round. Okay, next one is another letters round. Your letters are T for Tango, S for Sierra, S for Sierra, W for Whiskey, and R for Romeo. And the vowels are I for India, E for Echo, E for Echo, and A for Alpha.
did you get on that round? What's your biggest word? How many letters? Fabulous, Di. Fabulous. So possibles, there's, these are easier letters to work with, I would say. So there's a few eights in there. Sweaters. Sweatier. Waitress. Weariest. And there's a lot of sevens. There's loads of sixes. And obviously there's going to be tons and tons of five letter ones, which I didn't put up. I've just popped up the six letters and above. So well done for that. Okay. Another numbers round. So your five numbers are, even though it's six, it's five from the bottom, one to the top. One, seven, ten, eight, two, and fifty. And your target number is five hundred and sixty-eight. So remember, you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. You can only use it once once you've used it. Good luck! How did you do? Did you get it? I need to go back to do it because it's not on after that. Right, so the way I did it was, now you might have done it a different way. 8 minus 2 is 6. Add it to 50. It's 56. Times it by 10 is 560 plus the 7 and plus the 1. Did you do it that way? Great minds think leg if you did. If you did it a different way, just check it over with someone else or on your own to make sure that you just used them all once. Right, another conundrum then. Centipede. Yes, centipede. That's the animal. I know it's meant to be an insect, but it's not got a, it's an invertebrate, so it's, a, it's one or the other. Okay, last round then. So we've got two letters games. Consonant. If you want to write them down, your consonants are F for Foxtrot, W for Whiskey, L for Lima, R for Romeo, and S for Sierra. And your vowels are O for Oscar, E for Echo, A for Alpha, and O for Oscar. Okay, good luck! Right there, eh? sorry. <laughs> sorry if you jump. Possible answers here. There's an eight letter word, seafloor. You'd think that was two words, eh? but apparently it's not. There's quite a few sevens, flowers, for saw. Oh, we'll maybe do a lesson about that later in the summer. Loafers, aerosol. There's loads of six letters. I've just put a few up there, and obviously there's going to be pure hammers, a five letters as well, but anyway. Okay, so that was that round. Right, last letters round. Your consonants are N for November, G for golf, L for Lima, T for Tango, and R for Romeo. And your vowels are I for India, U for Uniform, and E for Echo. Hope you've managed to write them down. Good luck, people! Thank you. 
How did you do? There is a line in there. Granulite. It's a reference to granite. Granulite. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of eights as well. So you've got alerting, triangle. I actually got that myself when I first did it. Relating, ligature. Ooh, integral or altering. There's a lot of sevens. A lot of sixes because there's an ing in there which always makes it a wee bit easier to get a bigger word. That's a wee clue if you're ever playing this yourself at home or watching it at home later on. Then ing, always look for what word it could be because then you've only got to try and look for a six if you can add ing to it. Alright, your last numbers game then. So, your numbers are 2, 6, 10, one, three, and seventy-five. And your target number is two hundred and thirty-eight. Good luck. How did you do? Did you get it? Or as close to it as you can remember? You get points if you're within 10 of it. So if you get it spot on, you get 10 points if you're anywhere near it. I think you get six or seven. It's been years since I've played it to be fair. Okay, but it's just for fun anyway. So 238. Now this is where I'm trying to remember how I did it. 75 times 3 is 225. 6 divided by 2 is 3, add it to the 10, and then add that on, and then that's 238. I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's how I did it. So well done if you managed to get it. Alright, our last round, your last conundrum. So there's a wee clue on the screen, and you've got 30 seconds, remember I'll just count. Good luck! How did you do? So the clue is what it's been to teach you a privilege. See how cheesy I was there? So well done if you got that. Alright, hope you've had fun playing Countdown today. Tomorrow we're going to have a wee game of Dingbats. Which is basically, if you've ever seen the game show Catchphrase, you've got something on the screen. And you have to try and work it out. That's what that is. So hopefully you can join us. If you haven't, please join and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the Facebook page where you can access every, all the lessons that I've done the last seven weeks. Google Classroom if you're not on Facebook, that's how to join it for all the resources that I've been posting. And if you'd like to say thanks at any point, that's what to do. Thank you very much for tuning in. Enjoy the Google Countdown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.